Hi guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to move your to-do list from Microsoft to-do app and then move it into another app. Maybe you want it in notes, maybe you want it on the native Apple reminders. So hang on, I'm gonna teach you how. Okay, first of all, I just did like a test list here and you can see I did like a few things here on this list by just adding a random to-do. So this is just for the sake of this video. Um, underneath this, you can actually see I have some sub to do's and I can even say I wanna repeat this daily. Uh, bear with me, it's in Danish, the language of my computer, um, but I'm sure you can figure it out on the way. So see here, uh, I have the full to-do list. There's no real thing to actually, I can rename it, I can remove move it to another folder, I can sort it from, how important it is. I can change the theme, I can duplicate it, I can, here it is, I can print it out. So there's no other way. If you are an iPhone, let me just quickly show you a faster way than doing a printout because we're not actually printing out on Mac today. We're actually doing a PDF. But you can do this on your phone and it's a little bit easier, so hang on. So as you can see here, I'm in the app right now and I'm, um, I can see all the same things that I just showed you. But the thing is, up here in the corner, I actually have a new thing here that we don't have on Mac. So this is very important. You have a thing where it says send a copy. If I click that, I can actually say send a copy by email and it's gonna take the full list, as you can see. So the full test list here, I can actually mark this, I'll copy it and I'll just go into notes and I'll just paste it in here. So this way, we actually just exported our list from an iPhone onto the Notes app on your Mac. And if you have iCloud activated, which I hope you do, or you have Exchange or something like that, now you have the list on your Mac computer. So let me just continue on the Mac. So if you don't have to do on your iPhone, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do this using the PDF function. I'll say print the list. Instead of this printing, I'll just do a PDF. I'll save it to my downloads. Here's the list I just did. And in this case, I can just copy all this up to here. Uh, I can just get the T with it. And I'll open notes and I'll just paste it in here. You see, it does a little bit of a strange thing. It puts an L in front of uh, main notes and then sub, sub to do's, it puts an N in front of. I can either use ChatGPT to remove this, so just for the fun of it, I'll just copy this, go to ChatGPT. This is very relevant if you have a long list, of course, because it takes time. Also, remove the N in the beginning of each line and replace it with a so there we go. And now I'm just gonna paste the list and hopefully it understands exactly what it is. Yeah. So here we go. This is the result of the chat GPT. Now it just cleaned up my code. I can go back and I'll paste it in and it looks much better. So now I have a dash in front of uh, everything. I could of course not put a dash. I could put anything else, uh, just remove it entirely. I'll see the brainstorm is actually correct but we need to move it down. So there's a few mistakes when we do it this way, even with ChatGPT, but it's because the way it's put out from the app to do when I copy paste the, from the PDF, then it comes out like this. So what, do you, what can you actually do with this list? Um, I can actually make this list go into reminders. I do want everything to come in here, but to do so, I have to just mark Everything, not the test thing, but just this part. And now it doesn't understand what's a subtask and what's not. And I don't think it even makes sense to do that now, but we'll just do a test after this. I can just Command C, copy this, like right click, copy, whatever. And then go in here and click plus and just paste. And you see how all of them are now in here. So I actually have a file. Um, and of course it does the dash thing. Um, all, you see all these ones are actually one point. So I, I'm actually gonna regret doing this or I'll just do that. 
delete everything. I'll go back here and I can say, I don't want the dash here, don't want the dash. So if you want this moved in, then I'll just tap it. And, but this is not an, a sub to do, but these ones, I'll just click the tap button on my keyboard. In this case, I'll just do like that. No, that's not correct. This is supposed to be like that. And here's another sub task. And here's another top task, but this is like a task for itself. Uh, I'll just go up that and here's a task and somehow you know you see it does some mistakes when we export it as a, a printout because really it's not what we want but it's a great way to survive and this I'll just shift tab shift tab shift tab and now the list starts looking like how I want it so you see there's a little bit of corrections to it you can get ChatGPT to understand these things, uh, but you have to explain it. But you can even try to do it this way by, by just editing it that way. Of course, this is just one list and that's the annoying part. You... All right, so to put it in here now, it looks a little bit more correct. So paste it in and you see, it didn't make sense for me to actually go through cleaning up the list like I did, other than deleted the dashes, but like, make an indent here. Of course, you can always just use this as a to-do list instead of the other one. Other than that, I mean, I'd prefer it in here. So if you do want a really good solution, I would recommend that you set up Microsoft to-do on your phone. You do the email thing to your, either you send an email to yourself so you can copy paste it from there to your computer or you put it into notes already on your phone. And you will end up with this thing here, which is, for me, what I think much better, and you can always uh, decide on how you wanna lay out it or not. You can see this actually has a graphic um, circle, in, a circle in front of it. So of course there's some cleanup, but you can use ChatGPT to clean this up. And then eventually you'll have a better list than this. And then you copy it to whatever app that you want it in. Most apps, even Todoist, which I think is the most versatile, bit expensive, but you know, it does things as good as Wunderlist did. So that's it for me guys. I hope you can use this video for some kind of an inspiration and to fix your to-do lists and don't get stuck in the Microsoft to-do app because it does have some issues. And it's a nice way for you to maybe back up a list or share a list or whatever you want to do. So again, please like this video and subscribe if you like these types of things. I'll do more videos like these and you can check the previous videos, there are so many guides. And uh, thank you for all the followers just keeping me busy. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.